Good day, YouTube. Linux Lad here with a, another comparison video between uh, today we've got Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition on the left hand side here versus Linux Mint 21 as well but the XFCE Edition so the XFCE desktop environment on the right hand side here so let's have a bit of a look and see some of the similarities and differences there now starting off they do look pretty similar with the icon sets the start menu the the taskbar the time the settings a little bit different but a little bit the same now uh, they do now I've got to say Cinnamon on the left hand side looks a little bit more refined and uh, got that dark mode thing happening which I always love to see but you've got your categorizations for apps same can be said for the XFCE edition which uh, you can see with the taskbar the color in the Linux Mint icon there as well they've tried to do it like a rundown or a uh, a more simplified version of the cinnamon uh, default desktop environment on the left there and yeah, when I say default, I really do mean default because it is the XFC uh, default menu there. So it's, it's not very uh, imaginative, unfortunately, just uh, simple. But you can type in whatever you want and uh, find what it is that you want. So that's the main thing, like uh, for instance, Firefox. There we go. Uh, next up, let's have a look at the file managers and see what's going on there. So they look pretty similar, but they actually aren't the same. So we're using the slightly high-end Nemo file manager on the left for the Cinnamon desktop environment. And on the right-hand side for the XFC environment, we are using the, uh, the Thunar file manager, which really goes in lockstep with almost any XFCE distro or uh, desktop distro out there uh, but hey like I always say I just like to right click and open up a terminal that kind of thing there uh, next up uh, let's have a look at a little bit of under the hood and see what's going on there so this will be pretty much the same in terms of the kernel so they're both running the 5.15 one of the latest kernels there which is great to see great for later and greater hardware the reason for all this is uh, it is actually running on the the the, the base of which for Linux Mint is the latest Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release, which just came out a few months ago. So uh, that means we've got uh, access to these newer kernels and things, which is really great to see. So there's going to be a lot of people hopping on the Linux Mint 21 bandwagon there. Just depends on the, the distro or the, the desktop environment in particular. Uh, last but not least, uh, we'll take these video, uh, these, sorry, these, uh, values with a bit of a grain of salt. Let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So always idling off there. There's nothing in the background. These, these are just booted up from scratch. And we can see we're running at about 790 megabytes of RAM on boot up for the Cinnamon uh, desktop environments version. Whereas Linux Mint, the XFCE desktop environment is running at uh, 584 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So, about 200 gigabytes, uh, sorry, megabytes, 200 megabytes less of RAM on boot up, which is fairly noticeable, substantial, in the way that uh, if you've got an older CPU, uh, la uh, laptop, graphics card, uh, you know, and you just want it to, to just run as a basic web browser, uh, older machine effectively, then you might be choosing to opt for the XFCE edition, so remember that. But again, take all those details with a grain of salt, and uh, I'll leave it at that for now. But thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.